Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Alchemist Nega, and I haven't done a pick a card in a long time, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, I like to do pick a cards that I feel are affecting me, um, because I feel like if it's hitting me, it must be hitting someone else. So today we're going to talk about your enemies. So we have three cards um or three decks so this is one i know it's hard to see one which is um like this is jasper two bismuth and three rose quartz okay i can't really see it because it looks anyways pick a card and i will be able to tell you who are your enemies and how can you vanquish them? So what does it mean by vanquish? Vanquish doesn't mean like, oh, Joker style, like, because <laughs> I just saw that movie. I was like, wow, <laughs> there's so many social things that they're trying to tell us. What I mean is like, how can you not let them affect you? And um, how can you defeat them with your own success? Okay. So go ahead and pick a card and we'll get started. So we're gonna do one. First. One. <sighs> okay. So for people who picked one, um, you met this person or you met these people at a gathering maybe at a party a ceremony um, a graduation an induction orientation something like that and i think they seemed to want to help you with the five of wands they seem like they wanted to help you, but with the devil card, they, you ended up seeing some very toxic things about them. They dwell in very toxic energy. And they don't like you because you're like a star. You're very vibrant. You have a lot of energy. You're, you have... Uh, the world's opportunity in front of you and they can't stand that so how have they tried to attack you with the devil I feel like they with the devil here I feel like they've projected their insecurities onto you uh, so for instance if they felt like they were not very smart um, they would you know talk about you like, oh, you're a failure. There's no way you'd make it. It's too late for you. And also this person, they have they judged you without knowing you. They've said horrible things about you, to you, to your face, not to your face, without really knowing who you are. And also with the Three of Cups, I feel like this person is, is doing a smear campaign on you. So they're going around um, trying to make you look like the bad guy. This is usually narcissist behavior, um, but essentially they're going around talking about you badly to other people. And I feel like you can feel it a little bit because people are not talking to you um, because they're, they're, they're um, circulating this false news and false falseness about you. So they don't really know you. Something also tells me with the Ace of Wands, they don't really know you. They just met you. And they're already starting off with this very negative energy. And some of y'all felt bad because you you really thought that they wanted to help you. Um, some of y'all might be stuck in a situation with this person. I feel like it's a social situation. So some of y'all might go to work with this person. You might live with this person. I understand. So how can you get out of this situation? And how can you protect yourself? 
Well, um, I see the five of wands. There's always someone in the group that knows you or believes you or has experienced the effects of a toxic person before. So my advice to you is to lean into those people, those people you can trust, not those people who will get sucked into what this person is saying about you and the lies that they're spreading about you. Um, the next thing is with the Seven of Pentacles, keep working hard because this person wants to distract you. This person wants to get you off your grind. This person wants you to lose your success because I feel like you guys have been doing very well. Um, so just keep working hard with the Seven of Pentacles um, and, and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Um, yeah, with the Ace of Wands the star work towards your new beginnings i feel like a lot of you are in a situation where you might have messed up in the in the first first time and you're trying to get back on your feet you're trying to do better don't let this person distract you don't let this person suck you in because that's what they want to do that's why they're going behind your back that's why they're smearing your name to other people because they want you to mess up they want you to drop out don't do it. And if you are successful, you can get out. Also, this is to say, if you can get away from them, get away from them and start anew. Okay? Don't worry about this person. This person has a lot of issues that they refuse to work on. And the devil card shows that perfectly. All right, number two. We're about to look into your enemies and how you can vanquish them. Ooh, this one got a lot. Hmm. Okay. This enemy might be an ex. Because the lover's card is here. Might be an ex that's very bitter. Could also be, you know those people who shame people who are not in relationships. They're like, oh, you're not in a relationship like me. Ha ha, you're behind in life. Ha ha, you don't have this. You don't have that. I do, you don't. Like, you remember like when you were young, people were like, talk to the hand because you don't have a man. Like. I feel like that person is stuck in that and and they, they haven't really grown up. So how did you meet this person? Like I said, this person could be an ex or I feel like you really thought, because there's so many cups here, you really thought this person was your friend and you could trust this person with intimate information. Um, so you, you kind of sung to them with the Ace of Cups. You just like let your heart overflow into their cup and they use that against you. You gotta really be careful about that. They might've also like bombed you, love bombed you. The reason I use like like bomb is because like, I feel like that exists where it's not just with, ro with romantic relationships, but I feel like someone can come along and be very, very nice to you and, and they appear to be good. And then one day they just switch on you and they use everything that you told them against you. Um, that's, that's very possible. That's why I said it could be an ex too, but it could also just be somebody who, who is ridiculing you for your life path because it's different. Um, so the cards tell me they're, they're really against you because they're not happy themselves with the ten of cups they might want a family they might want to get married or anything like that or they might even want a better partner and they don't have that so they're attacking you for not having it at all or not being traditional in the way that they can't even be themselves and a lot of you guys are like i don't really care about tradition and that angers them even more because it's kind of like have you ever seen like the skeleton key where like the girl is trying to 
practice voodoo too so that she can protect herself but the lady's like it's wild like if you would have just mind your own business and and not believed in what we do you'd be cool but because you believe in what we're doing um we're going to suck you in and so you're like i don't really that's your opinion that's your belief i don't really go by that that's not really how i live it angers them subconsciously and they kind of want you to conform to what they think and they might also be forcing people around you to talk to make you talk to them but you don't have to talk to them and so i feel like with the two of pentacles you've been um, in a situation where like, should I like reinvest in this person? Should I not? Maybe I should. No, you don't have to. You don't have to invest in people who make you feel like trash. You don't have to talk to people who make you feel bad. Period. Um, so how can you deal with this? So the advice I'm seeing here is just to choose your own path with the two of wands, not the path that other people want you to do, not the other path people push you to do. People oftentimes want to push you into doing this because they can't do it themselves because they see, they see life as one dimensional, <laughs> but you don't have to do what anyone wants you to do. You do what's good for you, right? It doesn't matter the ridicule or shame. With the Knight of Wands, just keep it moving. You know, yeah, you invested a lot in this person or you 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 confessed a lot to this person, but uh, they weren't real. They weren't really there for you. You, you got to be able to pick up and go quickly, you know. Um, with the Knight of Cups, look for better friends. <laughs> Look for better people. Um, don't. And also this says like, you might have tried to help this person in the past. Like, oh yeah, I can help you. I can do that. But sometimes you have to learn to conserve your energy and you cannot help everyone all the time. You just can't. That's how people take advantage of you. And so we all have energy. We're all born with a certain amount of energy and you got to learn to conserve it. And finally, with the Ace of Swords and the King of Swords, so when you cut this person off, people might be looking at you like, oh, why? It's not that serious. Or try to belittle you. Don't listen to them. Do it and cut them off permanently. Okay? And I think this is also saying, be happy, make lots of friends. They'll hate that. You don't even have to look at them, ask them. They'll be hating. <laughs> so I hope that helped. All right, finally, three. All right, three people. Okay, okay three. Oof. Mm. All right, so how did you meet these people? I felt like you met this person during some type of financial endeavor or an endeavor where you were moving. Some of y'all, this might be a bad roommate, but you met this person um, knowing that you would have to travel far. You needed some kind of special setup um, and you were looking for the best investment. This could also be for people who might have just took a job out of financial need, like you really needed it and you were running out of options. So you ended up getting into this situation. You might have ended up getting into a toxic workspace um, or a toxic living environment, but you're like, oh my God, the pay is so good. Or, oh my God, it's convenient, cheap, whatever. But you're not gonna like this. <laughs> So for now, the cards are telling me you need to practice strength because this person is a part of your everyday, they're part of your work, they're part of your living, or so whatever. Whatever they're part of, they're somehow ingrained and you have to have the strength to, to not let them affect you, don't let them 
get you out of your character, out of your element, and learn from the situation. Because some of y'all did make a mistake in getting into this bad situation, thinking that you had no options. Whenever you dwell in a desperate energy, it can be so bad for you. But this card is asking you to have the strength to acknowledge your mistakes and the strength to carry on. And that's why I said some of y'all might not like this. But if you're wondering if you should leave that place, there is the Six of, of Wands or Swords, sorry. And the Six of Swords asks for you to move, to leave, to relocate, to go. The Queen of Swords asks you to do it with permanence. This is not, oh, I'm just going to take a vacation or I'm just going to go away. No, you need to leave. You need to start packing your bags now. Um, with the Eight of Wands, probably some opportunities to leave are going to come quickly. But you've got to, to sow that seed with the Queen of Pentacles. You've got to put it in those applications. You've got to, you know, do everything you possibly can to get out. But don't let it affect your work too badly. But just remember where you are is temporary. Um, with the Page of Wands, there's a lot of page cards here. So, oh my God, Page of Wands is here twice. There's a lot of page cards here. So I feel like you made a rookie's mistake. It's, it's really showing me that. You really made a mistake in getting into this situation. You didn't really think it through too well. You just thought of the best thing, and that's good. But sometimes you have to be realistic. What is the worst thing that can happen? And now you know that. But apparently this, this situation is really bad, and the cards are saying, you got to leave. <laughs> you got you to gotta go. <laughs> the three of wands and the six of swords, you... <laughs> You see that boat? They are they are sailing away. They are gone. Yeah. And it, it might be a little frustrating, but that's why they, they say you will have to have strength. Because you have to ask yourself, you might be getting a good paycheck or it might just be easier to just live somewhere. But is this, is it worth the mental strain, the money? And you can find something better, but you just have to have strength in yourself. Okay? So I hope that helped you all. I'll see you guys in the next one.